In 1973, Dr. Robert Spitzer led the charge to remove homosexuality from the DSM, our Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. That's the list of mental disorders. Overnight, gay people were considered sane. Fast forward to 2001. The same Dr. Robert Spitzer put out a study that said some gay people could change if they simply tried hard enough. This created a political earthquake because only a couple of years earlier, in 1998, 15 anti-gay organizations launched the Million Dollar Truth and Love campaign, saying people could pray away the gay. It became a hot potato and a political football. Thankfully, we are at Dr. Spitzer's house today because just a couple of weeks ago, he renounced that infamous ex-gay study and apologized to the LGBT community. Now, let's hear Dr. Robert Spitzer in his own words. The study that I did in 2001 uh, was published in 2003, created a lot of uh, interest and controversy. And I've been thinking about the study for many years and gradually have come to the conclusion that I was quite wrong in the conclusions that I made from the study. The study does not provide evidence really that gays can change. And that's quite a, an admission on my part. I had some doubts about the study, but I didn't want to face up to the fact that I needed to do something about it. And I guess the most recent uh, thing that has gotten me into this was an interview that I did with um, Iran over. Um, and he uh, spoke, uh, he, he was interested in my views of the study, but he mentioned a very interesting thing that he was actually recruited for the study. Um, his therapist was uh, Joseph Nicolosi, who was the big theoretician and practitioner of uh, reparative therapy. And he described how the therapy really was not helpful and it actually was harmful to him. And so it made me think that if, if I really have all these doubts about the study, I had better face up, I had to face up to whether I, I had a responsibility to acknowledge that. Several former patients of Dr. Nicolosi have stated that they were encouraged to participate in the study. By seeding the study with subjects, Dr. Nicolosi has been accused of a conflict of interest. I think there's a, probably a simple reason. He just didn't have many patients who could really claim that they had changed. Dr. Spitzer is now explicitly telling anti-gay and ex-gay organizations to no longer cite his work. He even told parents and friends of ex-gays or PFOX to take down a video they have posted of him on their website. Uh, the video states that I believe from a study I have done that homosexuality can be changed even though it's not very common. But I, I have rethought that study and believe that I really made serious mistakes in interpreting that study. The basic problem with the study was that I asked uh, a bunch of people who claimed they had changed from uh, homosexual to heterosexual, and I accepted what they said about their change. And I've been thinking about the study for many years I, I felt that I needed to not only say that, that the study is not valid, but I thought I should also say to the gay community uh, that I apologize for any harm I have done to them uh, because of the, the study and my in, in, initial interpretation. And I certainly apologize to any gay person who, because of the study, entered into uh, reparative therapy and wasted their time and energy doing that. I ask that PFOX stop showing this video since it is quite misleading. I had no way really of knowing when I examined any particular subject whether they really had changed or whether they were de deceiving themselves or even outright lying when they claimed that they had changed. So please don't show this to anyone. Dr. Dobson has been showing a film in which he uh, attempts to show that I believe that homosexuality can be changed. That's uh, quite 
wrong. That's not the case. Dr. Thompson knows that I have changed my views. And when I asked him to stop sending that video, he, he refused. He said I had signed a consent and there was nothing that I could do about it, which is really quite unfortunate. I think it's really unethical to show that when I have asked him specifically not to show it. There are other groups that are showing this film as evidence that I believe or, and have shown that gays can change. I ask that those organizations stop, stop doing that. And these include the North, the National Association for Research and Treatment of Homosexuality, the American College of Pediatrics, and there may be other groups that do that and I ask that they please not show this anymore. I'm curious as to whether they have said anything or how they live with the fact that the one study that they've always been citing has now been ta taken away from them. Uh, I would think that's a pretty rough uh, uh, place to be in. The, the people who are pushing the ex-gay idea are so full of hatred for homosexuality, really, but I, I don't think they can respond in, in an ethical way. Uh, if somebody is troubled that they are homosexual, what they ought to do is face up to that and do something to, so they're more comfortable living with the way they are. Because any attempt to change is really misguided if people uh, recognize that uh, being homosexual is something that cannot be changed and that efforts to change are going to be disappointing and can be harmful. If that can be uh, widely, more widely known, that would be very good.